like my parents had nothing to do with the men who attacked you. I'm sure you're right. So we should have nothing to worry about. I hope so. Mm -hmm. I'm not on the hunt for you. Currently. <laughs> we search for Varric. Our father wishes him to stand trial. Desna, let us continue our search elsewhere. Boyfriend, bow to me when I exit. Yes, yes, my sweet. Koala otter. Ah, oh, Pauline is a simp. Ah. Oh. You need to be honest with her. Right? How do you really feel? Honesty is for fools, kid. How are we doing? The coast is clear. You can come out. No way, mister. Not until I know it's absolutely 157% safe. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go see how Cora's doing. Bolin, I got a little something for you round that. What's the money for? Bribery, of course. <laughs> someone willing to look the other way for a few yuans. I think I catch your drift. This is going to be a civilized breakfast. Somebody tell me where these things come from. Sure. You can select the Blue Blind's price tag. Uh-huh. I'll let you pay. They say so kindly. <laughs> oh, this is such a cute moment. Ah, uh, Bolin, you missed it up. This trial will now come to order. Judge Hota presiding. They overpowered me. And the next thing I remember was waking up in the snow after Avatar Korra had saved me. And where exactly did this meeting take place? Objection! Quiet down out there! <laughs> you are so... ...gonna be found guilty. Pauline. Led the meeting, didn't they? My parents are innocent! I've heard all I need to. I'll return shortly with my decision. Oh, oh yes, I am so glad. You understand? This is not gonna end how you think it is. Except marriage. Pauline! Grow some balls! You are all found guilty. The punishment for this crime is death. You would kill your own brother? Show these men and my brother mercy. He's making himself look like the savior. He's looking like the good guy, and like, I don't believe he is. Aunt Kaya is super nice and pretty and always asks me how I'm feeling. And Uncle Bumi is like the funniest person in the world. Being part of a family is hard, huh, Daddy? I couldn't agree with you more. Big facts, man. That is some genuine real talk, if we're keeping it up. Even though Twinkle Star Child and Princess Rainbow fight, they still love each other. That's very wise of you. We should probably head back, huh? Cora, no. Saving me would start a war. Right. If were to break up, the North would crush the sun. I'll be all right. Just Fuck. Do anything rash. Cora, 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 Cora. You know, Talak told you about intimidating people. And she'd like you to let my father out of prison. I, I've worked for your uncle for years. He said he needed everyone to think the trial was fair. So Unalak told you what to do? Knew it! Knew he was an S. What do you mean you just got my father banished? Nothing. She talked. He's been an S since childhood. I'm sorry I didn't turn out to be an airbender like you hoped. But I've tried my best to keep the world straight. Oh, wow. Aww. trusted him but like, your core is always getting played i need your help if you do this there's no going back that she decided we should get married sorry i'm pretty sure you should have said no supposed to give the girl the betrothal necklace i guess eska didn't get the memo <laughs> she still has it where's my father on a ship Headed to the northern tribe. He'll serve out his sentence there. You don't want unity. You want power. Exactly. You've always been jealous of my father, haven't you? All I've ever wanted is to help you realize your destiny. Stop lying. Like, just stop lying. Dude, 
do people really, really think they can take on the Avatar like just like that? I wonder if he was lying about the ship. I have an idea. She's gonna build an ice one? Oh, use air bending? Oh, I was wrong, but this is so much better. They just invented the jet. How OP is this girl? Well, it's the avatar stage, but but you get me. Dang! I genuinely feel like Korra's dad isn't here. Hey. What's the plan after this, though? <laughs> Kids, it's nice how they can just forgive I each other. To apologize for how I acted yesterday. That is one good looking family, huh? Wow, that is so dope. It's time to put my brother in his place. How are we gonna do this? We have our support, Chief Tomrock. Mine too. But we'll need the united forces in order to win this war. Hmm, that's kind of smart. That's you, you. You'd actually be a good like caring and shit, bro. Now Esk and I are officially broken up. We're not. Yo, girl. Oh my goodness! That was the. That was mad. Honestly, I kind of saw. Kura's uncle being the bad guy coming from like a mile away. Like I genuinely just saw it coming a mile away. What's interesting is that with book one and book two, the water water tribe people are the problematic ones. Like Amon, would have Amon and Talak would have been this. Kura's uncle would have been like everything. Everything seems to be leading back to the water tribe. What is going on? It's interesting though. What's the end game in terms of the spirits? Like I highly doubt it was just to create like a pathway between the northern water tribe and the southern water tribe. I feel like there's a bigger, bigger gameplay. A bigger, bigger game plan here. Like I genuinely wonder, genuinely wonder what it is. Somebody still needs to explain the bison thing to me. Also, how are Asami and Marco and Bolin so cool? Like, how is Asami still so cool with everybody? Like, I don't know. It's weird. And also, we got some really, really good insight into the fact that Aang may have been a deadbeat to the other two kids. Just say, Just say, Just say. But it's realistic. I feel like the last episodes have really, really explored family. And like... The child and tribulations that can come from it. Just, it's an interesting layer to add on top of like, oh, hey, we're about to go to war. I like it, man. Genuinely, genuinely do.